Glam. This is your host again, Natanya, with The Glam Life. Well, I'll be providing complete beauty tips, techniques, and testimonials to reveal the glam in you. If you are new to this channel, please click that red subscribe button below. And once again, thank you to all my returning viewers, subscribers, as well as followers. Back here with another hair video, and this one's going to be talking about protective styles, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So without further ado, please stay tuned. All right, Glams, um, when it came to my last video on about ways to prevent breakage of the natural hair, I honed in on two points that both that both of them pointed back to protective styles. So I'm just here to provide, to provide some clarity on why protective styles are good, bad, as well as ugly and everything in between. Now, my personal thoughts on protective styles is that I don't use them. If you have been following my channel for quite some time, the best way I manage and care for my hair is just in the state that it's already in. I maintain it through twisting as well as maintain it, maintaining it with the hair grease well, with sealing in the moisture. And that's been pretty much good for as overall protecting my hair per se as it comes to being natural. Now, the good things about protective styles is that number one, you don't have to uh, worry about manipulating your hair. Number two, if you are, let's say, very athletic, like if you're a swimmer, a jogger, you play basketball, if you play any type of sport, a protective style would be good because you don't want to cause more damage to the hair due to overexertion, it drying out or being sweated out due to the various activities, especially with swimming. Being, dealing with natural hair, you, when you swim, dealing with the chlorine on the natural hair, that can be detrimental. So a protective style is one way to help prevent um, your hair from being damaged. That's just an example of that. Another way the protective style can be good is um, very uh, good when it comes to time. Dealing with natural hair is very time consuming and if you live a bu very busy life like I do, having that protective style will have you to be able to get up and go without re uh, styling your hair every day or putting it in a certain way so when you get up in, a, in the morning your hair will be already ready. That protective style will serve a purpose with that. Another way with another good thing with protective styles, protective styles, especially with wigs, you can have vers versatility. You can have pretty much have your hair braided up under the uh, wig cap, and you can pretty much change out um, your wigs or whatnot. You can do short, you can do long, you can even do color. So that's another benefit of the protective style. Another benefit of the protective style is that you don't have to spend as much money in product because being that your hair is pretty much tucked away you're only be pretty much doing now is at that particular point is taking care of the scalp so you want to nourish that as you all know i'm a big fan of the hair grease with the hair grease you can also use some hair oils and in between or when you're deciding whenever you're going to take it down you can just pretty much wash it and maintain it overall all right glam so now that i have covered why protective styles are good i'm about to go in why protective styles are bad the reason why protective styles can be bad, you first have to know your hair, so that is a disclaimer. If your hair is prone to breakage and is already weak, a protective style may not be good because it can cause further damage and further breakage, which is something that you do not want as a result of wearing the protective style. So for all my braid lovers that are out there, if you have put braids in your hair or certain types of twists in your hair, and then when you go to take it out, you see more hair that has come out as a result and you see that you may have shorter areas or areas that did not seem to grow that means that protective style may have not been that beneficial for you um, i've seen braids that and updos on people that have gone so tight that they have lost their edges as a result now when i used to uh chemically relax my hair i didn't have any edges at um at one point the chemical relaxer burned out my edges so when I first went natural, I was starting to wear the protective styles and being that I didn't have any edges, I, you know, didn't have to worry about, you know, that braid pulling on the edge of my hair. So my edges were able to grow back tremendously. Now, when my edges started to grow back and I tried to put the braids in there, I noticed that my edges were thinning again. And that was the indicator for me that braids and twists is something that I don't need to do, especially when it took as much nourishment and care to get my hair to be able to grow back at the state that it's in now. Another reason why protective styles may be bad is that, that you have your if you have your hair being pulled in one direction for too long, whether it be pulled back or pulled up or even pulled down, you can cause what is known as traction alopecia. 
And again, if you already have hair that is prone to breakage and that is um, weak in certain areas, you may be causing more harm than good. You have to know your hair. If, if your hair is not experiencing any of these other, any of these things that I just explained, then this part of the video is not for you. But if you are one of the ones that when you do put have a protective style and then when you take it out, you're seeing bald spots, you're seeing areas that are weak, you're seeing areas that are fragile, you're seeing areas where you're getting the short as well as the long spots, that's an indicator that that style did not work for you. Another reason why protective styles are bad is that over time, depending on how long you leave it in, you actually can cause uh, damage to the hair because you're not caring for it over an extended period of time. So for example, if you put micro braids in, and I've seen some ladies that have grown their hair out really good using the micro braids, but being that protective styles don't work for me, a uh, micro braids would not work because my hair at some point requires me to moisturize it. My hair at, at some point requires me to comb and detangle. My hair at that point, um, being that it's already uh, fragile on those edges, will probably start to get weak and frail and, and come out as a result. So you have to be careful when you do wear the protective style. I've seen some with protective styles where the, where the hair is so tight where you can see little bumps begin to form if you're having a headache when you get like the twist done the box braids done the micro braids done any type of braids it is too tight no one should be having a headache or i've seen where their eyes are like this when it comes to having any form of protective styles now when it comes to the ugly i just kind of like threw that in there there's pretty much no ugly with the protective styles but it can be ugly if you ignore the bad trying to uh, see the good in something that is not working for you. So protective styles at the end of the day, there are some good tips. Like I stated before, if you are an athlete or if you are one of those moms on the go, now I am a mother on the go. I am a lieutenant at, at a prison. I'm a golf mom. I'm a wife and then I'm an upcoming entrepreneur. So a protective style would technically work in my case. But the reason why I do have the uh, Underlining conditions of my hair, number one, is being, it's very soft. It's fine in some areas. Protective styles don't work for me, so I do have to allot that extra amount of time to be able to go forth without me having the protective style. Comment below if protective styles have worked for you or if protective styles may have been bad or if you're considering trying protective styles and this video has provided you some insight on how to incorporate it in your natural hair journey. Be blessed and be glamorous.